All right, you guys, so today I have another sensory bin video for you guys. I have been loving this. I have been loving like just trying to find affordable ways to entertain the kids, just easy things by no means. And my Pinterest mom, like I always tell you guys, like I've gotten way better than I used to be, but I still like very easy, simple things. Um, nothing that requires too much setup. So I'm gonna show you guys six different sensory bins today. There's like three Halloween ones, three more fall autumn ones. There's a couple of them in there that I think are pretty different that I haven't really seen too many people like do in the past. So I'm excited to see what you guys think about them. But I hope that you guys enjoy this video and that it gives you some ideas, some ways to entertain your kiddos. My kids are almost two and almost four if you guys happen to be new here and the majority of these like Jackson ended up like kind of like being nosy and wanting to see what Riley was doing so there was still ways for him to even kind of be involved in this for the most part I think almost everything that I got for these sensory bins was from the Dollar Tree um there were a couple things that like I may have already had but yeah, affordable stuff. So I'm gonna get right into it. If you guys missed the last sensory bin video that I did, I'll link it down below in the description box in case you guys need more ideas. But that's it for an intro. Let's get started. Let me show you guys what I made the kids. All right, so for this first one, I grabbed two bags of black beans. I actually had gotten these at Target, but I'm sure you can find them at Dollar Tree too. That's gonna be my filler. And then I also just found some other little things from Dollar Tree. These are like little skeleton bones, some cauldrons, some of like the little knickknacks that they use for Halloween stuff and things like that a ring pack of different bats and you know Halloween spooky stuff and then these little felt uh, they're stickers but whatever we just ended up throwing them in there as like little figurines so Riley was with me when I was putting this one together I just opened up the black beans poured them in I do feel like you probably needed like two bags so that it's enough of a filler than just using one bag. But this is great, beans are a good filler. Um, it's something that they can easily scoop and transfer from bin to bin. So the theme here is obviously like spooky Halloween. So I got the little bones and they were glitter, but surprisingly they weren't like an annoying kind of glitter but anything like that that you could find, the little cauldrons. Then I ended up just adding all the other stuff in and my thought was just to give her this bin of things and let her figure out how she really wanted to play with this one. I did figure at some point she'd kind of like, you know, make some kind of potion or something in the cauldrons and enjoy like mixing the beans and stuff in there and that's kind of what she ended up doing at one point. So that is what it looked like. I just thought it was cute and very simple. Like I don't think this cost more than five bucks. The scooper I think I had, but you can also also get scoopers like the measuring cups from Dollar Tree so that's something that you want to keep an eye out for if you're doing sensory bins some googly eyes these are just basic things that sometimes they have in the craft section but if I'm making sensory bins that are for like a special occasion or like the seasonal ones then I'll go to like where they have all the Halloween stuff or all the Christmas stuff so this is Riley playing with it again at the beginning I just kind of let her do her thing and she really liked it She was really into like the little spiders and transferring things and filling up the cauldrons transferring them from one to another I do try Whenever I can if I'm making a sensory bin give them like two bowls like or two cups Whatever it is that you're using so that way they can transfer it from one bowl to the other That's just like a very basic thing that toddlers like to do for reasons unbeknownst to me Like I have no idea why they enjoy doing that so much So this is something that she can use to practice her pouring skills and things like that This one was a definite hit so for the next one we're doing like a spider web kind of situation Um, I just got some spider web I think I got this one at five below but they also have them at Dollar Tree and then just reusing some of the stuff from the previous bin and also adding in some pipe cleaners So what I was trying to do here is just spread out that spider web as much as I could because the idea here is that anything that I'm gonna put in the spider web is gonna get stuck on it and then she's gonna have to like try to take all the little critters and things that I throw in here out of the spider web it's gonna be something that can help her with her fine motor skills and just keep her busy you know just something different that she doesn't see every day that will be fun and exciting even if it's for 10 minutes it's still 10 minutes that I get to myself so this is me trying here okay so I'm fluffing out the spider web and then this one came with like a couple spiders so there's already some spiders in there added some more of those spider rings and Halloween rings and those were great because since they had like the little legs it got really stuck in the spider web and then I just threw in the other stuff the pipe cleaners I wanted her to use because I figured she could just like make like little pumpkins or make little figurines like again sometimes it's just about throwing some random crafty things in there and you'll be surprised how they end up 
up using it like maybe she wanted to build a bridge with this put the bats under the bridge like who knows like sometimes that's part of the fun of seeing the sensory bins like come to life and seeing how your kids use them so this is what the bin looked like i gave her like the little um tweezers and these scissors they don't really cut but they came from like her skeleton man that she has if you guys follow my channel see the vlogs just some kind of tools that she could use to try to get the um the things out of the spider web so that's what it looked like when i presented it to her so she thought it was cool she was like what is this thing it's not something that she sees every day which is again the whole thought process behind these sensory bins so she liked it she liked getting the little scissors and trying to get the spiders out it was a little bit more frustrating this one because it is kind of hard to get those things out of the spider web but it was a challenge and i think that she enjoyed that i could have also probably given her like a little cup so she could like retrieve the spiders and the little rings and put them in the cup once she was done with them but this was something that was pretty easy to put together and something that she enjoyed doing I got in there at one point with her to just help her and to kind of show her how to do it and that's something that i'll do like if i see like she's not really getting it or she's not feeling it sometimes i'll just go in there and do it with her for a couple minutes and then just leave her alone and then she kind of starts picking up on it on her own i had also thrown in some googly eyes or maybe i found the googly eyes somewhere else and then when she was making like little people with the pipe cleaners little halloween spooky people so anyway that's what that bin looked like just something fun you can do if you go to dollar tree and just grab some of the halloween stuff there now this next one was very much a risk because it could have gone very badly but i wanted to do like a halloween candy sensory bin this is all stuff that i found at the dollar tree a bunch of different candies some of that like shredded i don't know decorative shred is what they call it they have that in a bunch of different colors if you're using if you're looking for like that little grassy stuff to put in sensory bins so i found that where they have like the wrapping paper and gift wrap and stuff so that's going to be my filler here but what i wanted to do is show you guys something that you can do either before halloween or on halloween night when your kids get their candy this is something that you can do to just make the whole candy situation a little educational like if they're gonna eat candy anyway can you find ways to make it educational or to have it be something that they can use to practice a skill so what my intentions were is to make this really like a sorting activity so i got a few different kinds of candies most of them were wrapped because i knew that they were going to be kind of thrown around in the bin but instead of getting like 50 different kinds of candy just sticking to like two or three different kinds of candies and then I'm gonna throw them all in the bin and then her activity is gonna be to like sort out the candies in like the little Halloween cups. I thought she could sort out like the Smarties from the Rolos and the little sour straw things or we could practice colors and I could tell her, okay, find all of the red um, sour straws, find all of the green sour straws. So focusing on things like colors, focusing on things like shapes and just sorting each kind. I thought that's something that we could do with candy which she very much likes. So this is what it looked like. Again, she's also gonna have to scoop things up. She can bury things in the decorative shred. I could have put more of that if I wanted it to be harder for her to find. And then I also grabbed some of like the candy corn with the pumpkins. That's something good for sensory bins because you can also have them like sort out the pumpkins, find the pumpkins. You could bury the pumpkins in the decorative shred and you know, have it be like, you know, finding the pumpkins at the pumpkin patch. There's like a bunch of stuff that you can do with those pumpkin candy corns. But this is what it looked like when I gave it to her. She was obviously very excited because it was candy and it could have gone very bad like i was saying it could have been the kind of thing where she was just instantly asking me to eat the candy which she did eat some candy but i was honestly shocked by how little candy she ate when she was playing with this like i explained to her that we were doing an activity and i was just showing her again different ways to sort the candies and giving her instructions and she enjoyed it so here's her just like sorting out the different kinds and finding the chocolates and we would talk about the chocolates like the chocolates had different facial expressions on it i would ask her you know is this chocolate happy is this chocolate sad like i know it sounds ridiculous but it's something that you can use stuff that they like and like everyday kind of stuff that she would normally have anyway and use it as an educational activity. So she spent a lot of time with this sensory bin just sorting and finding the candies and then yes at the end she asked me you know to eat some. Then with the candy corn I had her sort out the different colored candy corn like find all the ones with the brown bottom, find all the ones with the yellow bottom and then sort out the real pumpkin candy corns and it kept her entertained for a really long time. Here at this point I was asking her to put together groups of three 
So that was another like counting activity that we were doing. I would tell her find three of the pumpkins and find three of the Rolos, put them in groups of three. You could do that obviously with any number. With the Smarties themselves, I could have taken the Smarties out of the wrapper and we could have you know color sorted those or counted them. Just again, showing you that you can do a lot of things even with something like candy that they're gonna see on Halloween. All right, so this is probably my favorite one that I put together this time around because it was just, it was different. And I was just going through Dollar Tree, going through every single aisle, trying to figure out ways to put together stuff that my child would be excited about. And this is what I came up with. So I wanted to do something like autumn themed, like bird themed. Like that's kind of what I had in my mind. Like how can I, cause we're into like birds now. Like if you follow my vlogs, we have a bird feeder outside. We're into bird watching now. And that's kind of been something that we've been as a family doing. So I found these pretzel sticks that I figured we could use to like, you know, make a bird nest. And then I found packs of granola. That's gonna be my filler. You guys will see how that turns out. And then this little bird that they had in the crafting section and this little house that they had in like where they sell all the stuff you can paint, some sunflower seeds, some measuring spoons for scoopers. But look how good the granola came out as a filler. Normally you'll see beans and rice and stuff, but this was something that I felt like went along with like the bird theme and something that is easy, like each pack of the granola was a buck. So this is gonna be my filler. Kind of looks like a bird, you know, like place, like where a bird would live. I don't know, you guys, this is me just doing my best over here. And then I had this little wooden bowl that I had at home that I'm, I'm gonna end up putting the bird like seeds in, the little sunflower seeds. So I'm just arranging everything, trying to figure out how it best looks to present it to her. And I wasn't sure if she was gonna like it, you guys, but this ended up being one of her favorites. So I thought with the granola, maybe she could like pick out the different kinds of granola. You know, there's different pieces to it, or maybe it can just be like the bird's food or I don't know. This is what I'm showing her so she can figure out what she wants to do with it. But I thought it looked pretty cute. So I poured the sunflower seeds in and I told her like, this is a bird's papa, this is a bird's food. I gave her a little scooper so she could feed the bird. And then in the granola, I also put the little sticks, the little pretzel sticks that we could use to build a bird's nest. Again, see what she wanted to do with it. We could have also painted the house. I could have had that be an activity too if I wanted to at one point because they sell a lot of these like little wooden things at the Dollar Tree that you can paint. But that is what the sensory bin looked like and she freaking loved it. In retrospect, I should have gotten two of the birds because Jackson later on wanted to like take the bird and run around the house with the bird but she really liked it. It was the kind of thing that's like a sensory bin, but also pretend play, which I very much like. And you know, she had the little bird, she was in charge of feeding the bird. And then at one point she started putting like some of the granola and some of the foods like inside the bird house. So that was fun for her practicing on those fine motor skills. She would take the bird and like pretend that the bird was eating. So I thought that that was really cute. Then at one point, like she wasn't so much playing with the stuff in the bin. So we took some of the materials out and just put them on the table. And I was showing her like how we were gonna make a little nest. And then she played with the stuff. Like she took everything out. She took out the bird's food out. And then like she just started playing with it on the kitchen table, which is fine as long as, you know, we're containing the mess. But this was her activity for a long time in the morning. And then, like I said, Jackson loved it. He wanted that little bird. So there's another idea for you guys. You guys can have a pet fake bird in your house if you want to. All right, two more. So the next one is this one that I have here. I wanted it to be like butterfly garden theme. That's kind of what my vibe was for this. So I found these stickers in like the sticker section that were butterflies and then everything else here I think these were lentils that I had gotten at um, Target some rocks from the craft section at Dollar Tree Just some of those other things that I had picked up in looking for sensory bin fillers So started with the lentils started with my filler um, again, I had gotten these at Target but any kind of Bean like I think I've gotten pinto beans at Dollar Tree before like, those probably would have worked I just wanted something that looked like dirt like something, you know from the ground I had also found these white rocks there in the in the floral section I think is where I saw these and I wanted to add these so that it was just a different element Riley could just pick the rocks and find rocks and whatever she could just do something with these rocks so i added those to the corner and just made a little like butterfly garden that's kind of what i was going for here i was going to open up the green moss that i had gotten from the flower section but i decided not to after realizing what a gigantic mess i was going to make like i can deal with a mess but not that much and i would 
totally recommend that you stay away from like that mossy stuff because it's not very good so with the stickers what i did is i cut them out so that they looked like individual little butterflies and because like the back was clear like it wasn't that big of a deal that it wasn't like perfectly cut out but they were kind of like 3d stickers so the wings kind of stood out and it looked like a little pretend butterfly so i thought that riley would like that i kind of had them standing up and then that's what it looked like when it was done so the butterflies were like standing there in the gravel and the rocks and stuff and then i was just trying to figure out what else i could put in there so i had gotten the sequins also in the crafting section and i thought i could tell riley that the sequins were like the butterfly food and she could have fun just playing with the sequins and we could even sort out the sequins because the sequins came in like a bunch of different colors so we could do like a sorting activity that way too but it could be the butterfly food and just something pretty that she could play with and look at i also added like those little cubes that i had found somewhere there in the crafting section i thought maybe she could make a little trail or a little house she could stack them I don't know you guys so this was a bin that I gave her and this was another one of her favorites I just love like every time that I gave her one of these sensory bins like how excited she was like just looking at her face Like it was always something new and that's what it is about the sensory bins you guys like you don't have to go crazy You don't have to worry about spending a million bucks on them It's just about the novelty honestly and the fact that they're doing something that they haven't seen before So whether you fill it up with 500 things or you fill it up with two things Sometimes it's just about them seeing something different that gets them excited something that they can touch in their hands and manipulate that gets them excited so for this one we moved it to the floor because i knew jackson was going to want to play with it too and i didn't want him to like fall off the table so i just moved it to the floor and jackson really liked this one too he was grabbing the butterflies he was grabbing the um the beans and stuff with the scooper and again just go to dollar tree and get one pack or two packs of the little measuring spoons and measuring cups and each pack has like three or four or i don't know how many in the actual pack and then you have one for each of the bins that you're gonna do so you see here riley's making like a little tower with the cubes obviously i'm still watching them because i don't want jackson to put anything in his mouth so again if you have a little one that's going to be eating things or putting things in their mouth you obviously want to do this while you're around them to make sure that they don't eat something that they're not supposed to but my kids are pretty good about that riley's never had any of those issues and jackson is definitely much better but look at them they're actually playing together nicely this is like worth every penny worth everything that i did in getting these ready and then here at one point lightning mcqueen found his way into the butterfly garden and was messing everything up but that's what jackson wanted to do he wanted to bring his cars in there and that's okay it's okay if they decide hey let's bring something else that i already have into the sensory bin and you know make my new game with it that's totally cool too all right you guys and then the last one is this one that i made just like an autumn floral i don't know some kind of an autumn little sensory bin here again more of that um decorative shred but i got it in like a brown tone i'm using some of the leftover pretzel sticks some leaves also that i had found and also clothespins. that's something new that i hadn't really used with riley before that i wanted her to practice the skill of like pinching stuff with the clothespins so i'm assembling the sensory bin just putting that decorative shred in the bottom i could have used beans for this too i just kind of wanted it to be something that we could hide those like little acorns in those little figurines and stuff in and that she could kind of bury under there too so the decorative shred isn't too bad it's kind of like a good way to go it's not too messy and then i'm just kind of adding everything in i knew that riley would like those little um acorns and stuff because that's just the kind of stuff that she likes and then i had like some leftover pumpkins from my fall decor that i threw in here made like a little pumpkin patch situation again you've got to be creative too okay you've got to like pretend stuff too and then i had these flowers that i had found but they were kind of like um, like all stuck together so what I did was just like cut off the stem so I just had like the top of the flowers and then we threw those in there threw in the leaves too and then I also added the clothespins and then some of the pretzel sticks again if she wanted to pretend that they were just sticks in the dirt and then I also added in like a set of tongs so that was going to be like the thing that she manipulates the stuff with with either the clothespins or the set of tongs but you see just something simple and cute for fall something different that she could do again you could definitely do color sorting activities and just sort out the different objects you've got the leaves you could match the leaves to the acorns there's a bunch of stuff that you know you could do with this so I gave it to Riley first things first she went straight for those um <laughs> the little acorns and stuff 
and she really liked this one at one point she laid out all of the leaves on the table and then she went picking and finding each one of like the little acorns and putting them each on a leaf so that's something she wanted to do we could have done a bunch of counting activities here too we could have matched you know the acorn to like the color leaf we could have done orange acorns with orange leaves but something that was cool was to see like this is something that she did without being prompted like she took the clothespins and she grabbed leaves with them and then she said that those were like little trees in the forest and she made a little forest and she kind of like lined them all up so again that's her being creative and her finding a way to play with the stuff that i gave her and yeah that was definitely a hit she ended up like bringing out more stuff out of the bin but that was a really cute fall activity for her too. So that is it, you guys. That is six more sensory activities that you can do with your kiddos. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, let me know what you guys have been thinking about these sensory bins, activities. If there's anything you wanna share, other easy activities that you've done with your kids, let me know down below. I've been scrolling through Pinterest, just trying to find like easy things to do with Riley, but these sensory bins have been a hit and the shoe boxes i don't think i mentioned it this video but the shoe boxes that i've been using like the sensory bins themselves i've just gotten shoe boxes i think target sells like a pack of five for five bucks so i'll try to link those for you guys but remember that it doesn't have to be complicated and you don't have to be buying your kids like 50 dollars toys to entertain them like with this kind of stuff i figured I'll make it, I'll spend what, like five bucks on each bin, if that, um, reuse some of the stuff too, right? So that makes it even less expensive. But if I spend five bucks on a bin and they play with it once only, like, okay, well then it kept her entertained for a period of time and like I didn't lose all that money. But the kids have loved it and now we have literally like a stash of, I don't know how many sensory bins there in the garage. And from time to time, like Jackson, Jackson loves the one that I did last time that was like the beans and like the construction cars. You guys remember when I shared you, shared that one with you guys? He loves it. So anytime that I open the garage door and he sees it, he points at it and he wants to play with it. So a lot of these you can just kind of leave assembled and then, you know, as long as there's not like food and stuff that can go bad or attract rodents or whatever, um, a lot of these you can just kind of leave assembled and um, you can play with them over and over again. So that's kind of what we do. But that is it. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know if you want to see more things like this, more toddler activities. I'll be happy to do it because like now I'm a crafty Pinterest nerd, I guess. I guess that's my life now. So I love your freaking faces. Um, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. I do a lot of motherhood videos just sharing my crazy life with two toddlers here on the channel with you guys and i'd love to have you here as part of the community so that is it give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys